And then we will have, is Alyssa in the room? Hi, I'm here. She's here. Awesome. Okay, Alyssa. Um, hi, everyone. My name is Alyssa. I'm a junior at Yonkers High, and the title of my comic is Censored. It follows a young Black woman by the name of Sage as she navigates through life and battles the racial microaggressions that come with being a Black woman. My goal for this comic is to show how the stereotypes of Black women relentlessly work to define them. And oftentimes, it proves nearly impossible to break out of the confines of quote-unquote angry Black women. Throughout the duration of this comic, Sage will be presented with situations in which she has to think about the way she conducts herself. The panels switch perspectives to show how she would like to react versus how she actually acts in order to avert those negative perceptions. So the first image is a draft of the cover. Uh, the differing skin tones represent Sage's struggle to conform to society. Uh, the pixels that you see on her face are similar to the um, bars that you would see on a TV screen after losing service. This sort of speaks to the title. Essentially, Sage's entire existence is blurred out, which depicts censorship. Um, for this picture, I started off with watercolor as the base to map out the colors and where I wanted to put them. And then I went in with acrylic to add definition. Um, if you scroll down, uh, the next image is a profile sketch of the main character. Um, I felt for this comic, I wanted to show how versatile black hair is because another stereotype regarding the community is that black people don't have or are capable of growing long hair. Even though Sage is struggling with the shackles of society, her hair serves as a reminder of being unapologetically black. Um, this was done in pencil and then I went over it with ink. Um, if you scroll down, the final image is a blown up thumbnail sketch uh, for one of my panels. Um, let me set the scene for you. Sage had an exhausting day of school. So here you can see her walking down the street with the music blasting in her ears and she's just enjoying a moment of serenity before she has to return to the harshness of reality. Um, one of the things that we learned in CCC is how to capture movement in an image. It's a key element to drawing because it provides dimension and complexity to a picture. So I wanted to frame Sage as she was taking that step on her walk. Uh, the close up on the right foot kind of gives the illusion that she's in the middle of walking. Uh, this piece was also done in pencil and then cleaned up with ink. Um, so that was my artist page. I hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll come back when it is finished. Thank you. Awesome. Well, I hope you all are blown away by our students' work here. Um, again, you can, you can visit that quarantines page at yfi.org slash quarantine. So I'm going to stop.